We arrived in Yangon and stayed there for two nights and we stayed in the sleep-in hostel, which I'll link below. Um, it was really nice, we got breakfast included, there was like um, chests that locked under the beds, it felt pretty secure and it was clean, so like everything you really need from a hostel. And we actually ended up staying in a hostel owned by the same people in Bagan, so I'll link that below as well. I think it was called the Maya Theda Hostel? Um, but I'll link it below. Um, it was also just as good, pretty much the same uh, in both hostels. So one of the places I would really recommend in Yangon is off the beaten track, the Traveller Bar. We went there with two of our friends that we made in the hostel on the first night that we were in Yangon. And the two other guys were actually travelling around Myanmar for much longer than us. And the one of the partners of the bar um, sat with us for probably over an hour just chatting us through like places to see in Myanmar and like talking us through everything really, like his favourite bits, like things you can do in different places and it was fascinating and it instantly made me want to go back to Myanmar for longer. Um, but he also recommended things for me and Cassie to do as well, as, like goes up to Bagan and that kind of thing and he just had so much information, in fact some of the information from this video is from him and I can't recommend it enough, especially if you're going to Myanmar for a little bit longer and sort of not quite sure what to do. Um, he can recommend you things. If you have a plan, he can tell you if it's sort of feasible. Um, and they're also trying to keep up uh, to date as much as possible with the closed areas. And he actually really reassured really me in saying that Myanmar is really, really a very safe place because the places that aren't safe are closed and you can't even get near those places. Um, if you accidentally got there, they would just take you out straight away sort of thing. So it's kind of like, that settled me quite a lot because I didn't feel scared at all in Myanmar, but just to know that someone that's lived there since 2007 is saying it's a really safe place was very reassuring. So on the first full day that we were in Yangon, we went to the Shweda Go Pagoda, which was really nice. Um, it's the big, huge golden one that you probably see everywhere when you Google Yangon. Um, and it was, it was massive. And we paid 8,000 yet to go in there, I think. And yeah, it was really nice. Um, and it was quite funny as well, because some of the local sort of tourists there really found us fascinating and quite a few of them actually asked to take a picture of us with them and all that kind of thing which is pretty hilarious so we sort of felt like minor celebrities <laughs> um, but it was, it was really nice to see, massive, it was just huge and there was like loads of different rooms and like sort of mini temples and all that kind of thing so we actually ended up seeing like not every single room but enough to just be pretty fascinated with it all. Um, and after that we went to the Drug Elimination Museum, which was also really interesting. I've never been in a museum when it's just been me and whoever I'm with before, but me and Cassie were the only people in this museum for most of the time that we were there, <laughs> which got a little bit creepy, but it was quite nice. We could just wander around and no one really bothered us. Um, on the second night we were in Yangon, we went to 19th Street to eat where there was lots of like stalls that all, all kind of run on a similar idea that you pick your meats and the vegetables and this kind of thing and they barbecue it for you and bring it out to you and that was a, a really really nice meal Um we all really enjoyed that and it was very tasty. It was quite an experience as well because we were eating out on the street with um, all the locals there as well so it really felt like we were kind of getting a local experience sort of thing and that was really nice. On our last day in Yangon we went to the train station to take the circle line and we actually walked there and it was really nice to see like lots of street markets and it was a Saturday afternoon so it was really busy and it was just sort of such a buzz about it all and I love walking around in cities like that because I get feel like you get quite a feel for the place and sort of see more of it than you naturally would if you just like hopped in a taxi which was what we've been doing in Yangon quite a lot and um, things were quite far apart 
but also the traffic is quite bad in Yangon because mopeds and that kind of thing are all actually banned so everyone's in a car all trying to move to the same sort of place um, so it did quite take a bit of a time to travel around in Yangon but the walk to the train station was really nice. So the Circle Line is a train line that takes you out into the more rural parts of Yangon and it's three hours to go around the whole circle and you can hop on and off if you want to but we just decided to stay on um, and just sort of take in the sights and that kind of thing. And some of what we saw was quite sad. Um, we sort of saw some of the slums basically of Yangon and how people were living just outside the c city centre really. Um, but yeah, it was really interesting to see and I don't really know what else to say about it but I'm really glad we did it and it was very interesting, uh, definitely. And sort of a bit of an eye-opener to how lucky we have it um, in the way that we live, really. Yeah. We had booked onto the night bus to Began for that night, so after the Circle Line, we went back to our hostel and took a taxi out to the bus station where we got on the night bus. And the night bus was okay. We didn't get a whole lot of sleep, but we didn't get no sleep. And we got enough to get by. We ended up arriving to Began really quite early in the morning. I think it was probably about 5am and uh, we were literally not even off the bus before there was taxi drivers telling us that we, they could take us to wherever we were going which was a bit full on for that time of the morning but uh, we ended up getting in a taxi and then we got to the outskirts of New Began and found out that we actually had to pay a fee for entering so we had to pay that but it lasts you I think for a week and apparently if you don't renew it then it's still kind of okay but you would have to check on that one. Uh, so we obviously got to our hostel pretty early but it was really good in that they were obviously used to this because I reckon quite a lot of people going there come off of the night bus and leave on the next night bus. Um, so they had our room ready for us within about an hour and it was pretty good because uh, we just went back to bed and slept for a bit. We actually had quite a chill day that day and I actually did some revision for my exams um, but on the next day we hired some bikes and cycled around like, pagodas and temples and all that kind of thing and it was really good. What we did was get our bikes quite early in the morning, I think probably about 8am um, to try and miss some of the heat because it gets really hot in Myanmar like about midday so we headed out and so it went around quite a lot of temples and pagodas in the morning and then we came back to our hostel for the sort of afternoon time and kind of had lunch there and had a wee nap and then we headed out again at night to see the sunset at a temple which was really nice and I would completely recommend and that seems to be where all the tourists go at sunset is a temple and we climb up a temple and watch the sunset which is really nice but get there early enough to get a good spot. <laughs> So on our final day in Began, we went to Mount Popa. Uh, we got a, ta a shared taxi there. And actually on the way, we went to a sugarcane plantation, which was really good to see as well. And I love when we stop off at those like little bits on the side of the road to see something different that you might not see otherwise. Um, and that was really interesting. And we also saw them putting in some telephone lines, which I got really excited about. I don't know why, I've just never seen telephone lines being put down before, um, so that was good. Hi. Mount Popo was really nice and you climb the 777 steps and get to the top and then you can see like really gorgeous views, there was like another mountain just across from that we saw and there's like a sort of um, a pagoda at the top and all this kind of thing and it was really nice. Um, and on our way back down, I actually got attacked by a monkey. I had my sunglasses on my head and all of a sudden it just felt this thing on my head and I was like, what's happening? But it was a monkey who'd run off with my um, sunglasses and next thing you know, another monkey had jumped on the top of my head as well. So there was a bit of a kerfuffle getting my sunglasses back but finally got them back because the locals stand there and they have like ways to get the monkeys to give you your things back. Um, 
But that was quite an experience. And after that, me and Cathy were both shaking uncontrollably. I think just from the shock of it all. <laughs> then we just headed back to our hostel and just kind of chilled out there before we got on another night bus back to Yangon. Um, and then we got a taxi to the airport sat in the airport for a few hours and got a flight back to Kuala Lumpur, sat there for a little bit as well and then finally flew Kuala Lumpur to Singapore and came back to Hobbs. <laughs> so it was quite a long journey on our way back but honestly it was completely worth it and I'm really glad we went. Everything we did was absolutely amazing and I definitely want to go back to Myanmar. So yeah. thanks for watching, any questions you have be sure to put in the comments below and I'll try to link up as much as I can in the description so be sure to check that out and I'll see you later. Bye! It felt like a really exciting time to be in Myanmar um, given the whole political history to the place and the recent changes that have come about.